A serial burglar charged with stealing more than $70,000 of merchandise from multiple Ulta Beauty and Dick Sporting Goods stores now facing charges. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins looks at how police say a man used teenagers to commit the crimes over a six month span. Well, today, St. Louis County Prosecutor Attorney Wesley Bell talked about the case and he said that the suspect has been charged with stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from various stores here in our area. But he says that this is a growing problem across the country. Well, St. Louis County Police say 20 year old Carlos Willis stole thousands of dollars of merchandise from Ulta Beauty and Dick's Sporting Goods stores. Each theft caught on surveillance video. According to the probable cause statement, the crimes were committed over a six month period from September 2022 to February 2023. Authorities say Willis hit multiple stores from West County to South County, St. Charles County and St. Clair County, Illinois. Prosecutors believe Willis raked in more than $70,000 in merchandise in 16 separate thefts over multiple dates. It is concerning and um, as, as a result of that, we've created a retail uh, theft task force working with many of our community partners in the, in the retail industry uh, because this has been an issue. And Willis has been charged with stealing. Prosecutors say he used teenagers to help him steal. And that's something that we take very seriously. And so the court complied with that request and this bond has been set at $100,000, no 10%. Um, and so, um, you know, our intent is to hold this individual accountable. Wigs to disguise his, um, to, to disguise his appearance. And, um, and again, it's just something that you know, our office is going to take seriously. Officials say Willis sold the stolen merchandise on Facebook less than 24 hours after the thefts. We see that there's a black market that's been expanding, uh, people selling things on um, social media and things of that nature. And so, you know, we do want people to be careful um, when they see things that are on social, social media for sale. Well, at this time, the suspect remains at large and authorities are encouraging anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Clayton, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.